In this video, we're going to see how to import um, data sets into SAS using the PROC import um, statement. So we are going to be using importing files that are in a CSV format, that's the comma separated value format, which is a very versatile uh, versatile data format that can be handled by most, if not all, software. So let's just uh, take a look at my home folder here. And in my home folder is a bunch of junk, but also jjj.csv. So if I just open that in a text editor, we see the, the data file is there. So that first row has the names of variables, so name, age, sex, height in meters, weight in kg. Um, oh, a little space there. Let me get rid of that. And further rows, uh, so John, he's 15, he's male, he's 1, one meter 72, etc., etc. All right, uh, so we're going to import that data set into, into SAS. So I'll close that down and get rid of that. I'm going to open a terminal. Again, you don't necessarily have to do this in, in Windows um, or, or Mac. You don't necessarily have to do this in all. The, the text that I particularly like to look at, use is, is called VI or, or VIM. And so I'm just going to take another look at this data set in another text editor for no real reason. but. Um, so we're just looking at that normal data file. So if I exit that, and let me run SAS. I'll minimize this. I'll get everything in the the normal layout that we're we're now used to with the previous videos. Minimize that. The output window. The results window. And the Explorer tab. Okay. So in the Explorer window, if you remember what we've already seen, in the libraries I created this MAT008 library. So if I click on that, I've got this first data set that I already um, already created previously using direct input in the card statement. So what we're going to try and do is put another data set there. So I go to my program editor uh, and I click and I get ready. So the first line of code is proc import. This is simply telling SAS, right, we're going to import some data. We then have to point SAS towards a particular data file. So proc import data file equals, and then we have uh, to put in between um, quotation marks the actual location of the file. So in, in Linux, on Unix systems, um, the file's in my home folder, so it would be simply written like this. On Windows, your, your slashes would be in the other direction. You'd probably start off with C colon slash and find wherever the file is. Uh, now for some of the, the, the options. So out, which is where the file is going to go. And so I want this to go into MAT008, 008, sorry, dot JJJ. And then the, uh, the file format, so DBMS, what SAS has to look at. And so this is a CSV file. This is, you could put other things here if they were um, different different types of files. So you can import uh, Excel files, um, tab delimited files, etc. using this. And this is where you change that. And then I put in an option here that I do want you to replace the, the file if it already exists. And get names equals yes. Now that basically tells you, okay, look at the first row of this CSV file. And on that first row, um, that'll be the names of the variables. So get names equals yes. And we finish off with a run. Okay. So it's colored the, the certain of the words. These words are all black, but that's still okay. So I'll just select select all that, and I run it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at our log. It's all blue. There's no red, so that's a good thing. 13 rows created in MAT008 from that data file. Let's go up a little bit more. That's the time it took to run. So everything seems fine. If I go into the library. Good MAT008. There is the JJJ data set. Now remember, SAS um, is not case sensitive, so it simply put the first letter as, uh, as a capital and the others as minuscule. Open the data file up just by double clicking on it, and we see uh, all the information that we had. So the age, the sex, the height in meters, the weight in kg, the home postcode, savings, and then a random number. So we're going to use this data set for, for doing various other things.